Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! <laughs> We're just about to play a game. It's a guessing game. Hey, why don't you join in and play with us? Ben's going to hold up pictures of homes and we'll guess the animal that lives there. OK then, Small, let's get started. OK. Now, who do you think would live in here? Ooh. Something quite big. And look, there's some hay. I think I know what it is. It's a house for a horse. Yes, well done, Small. This is a picture of a stable, and horses live in stables. <laughs> Here we are. There's Mr Horsey. Let's pop him in his home, shall we? In you go. There we are. Now, let's have another go. Now, what kind of animal do you think would live in here? Hmm, this is a bit tricky. It's a small house and it looks a bit prickly. <laughs> yes, it does, Small. And it's made out of sticks and moss. And the animal who lives here goes... Tweet, 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 tweet. Do you know? I do. That's a picture of a nest. Birds make nests high up in trees. Yes, well done, Small. It is a picture of a nest and a birdie lives inside it. There she is. <laughs> Home you go, little Miss Birdie, in your nest. OK, one more, I think, Small. Here we are. What animal lives in here? That's a hutch. Yes, and the animal that lives here goes... Someone who lives in a hutch and goes... Oh, a rabbit! A rabbit lives in a hutch! Yay, well done, Small. <laughs> it is a rabbit. Here he is. Little Mr Rabbit, in your hutch. There you go. Oh, and close the door. Very good. Now, what kind of house would you like to live in, Small? Oh, that's easy, Ben. A place to keep me warm when it's cold, dry when it rains, and a nice cosy place to sleep. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to make myself a brand new house now. What do I need? Uh... Aha! Not yet, Small. Your plans for building a new house will have to wait. We've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who is it, Small? Who is it? Let me see. He's just coming through the door now. Still coming through. Yes, go on. I'll give you a clue. He moves very slowly and he has four legs. Well, where does he live? He carries his house on his back. It's called a shell and he pokes his head in and out. <laughs> oh. Do you know who it is? It's a tortoise, Timothy Tortoise. I wonder what a tortoise would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. It all began one sports day. Timothy Tortoise and Harry Hare were at the starting line, ready to compete in the big race. Timothy Tortoise was wearing his lucky scarf. Hopefully it would keep the sun off and help him to win. He'd need some luck against Harry Hare. At the sound of the starting whistle, Harry Hare was off. He zoomed into the distance. Meanwhile, Timothy Tortoise slowly began to plod. As Harry Hare ran, he sang to the crowd, I'm a fast, fast hare. Catch me if you dare. No one can run as fast as me. I'm the best in town, it's plain to see. 
Harry Hare was so sure that he would win the race, he decided he even had time for a little rest. And then, do you know what? He fell fast asleep. Timothy had a chance to win, but all he could say was, I am slow, slow, slow. Plodding is all I know. I will never win this race. I might as well give up the chase. Time for Little Cook Small to come to the rescue. You can win the race, Timothy Tortoise, I shouted. I can, he replied quietly. So I turned to the crowd and shouted, Timothy, Timothy. The crowd got really excited. They couldn't believe their eyes when Timothy plodded past the sleeping hare. The cheering spurred Timothy on and over the finishing line he plodded. The noisy crowd woke Harry Hare who cried, No! But it was too late. Timothy Tortoise had won the race. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Hoo -hoo, I'm glad Timothy the Tortoise won in the end. I reckon he'd be pretty hungry after all that plodding. Way! Woohoo! You're right, Ben. But what can we make for Timothy the Tortoise? Hmm. What do tortoises like to eat? <laughs> Ooh, <yeah>. oh. <gasps> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Oh, yes, here it is. Timothy will love this. Tortoise salad. The perfect thing. Yummy. Come on, Small. Read out the ingredients. OK, let's see. We're going to need an apple. Over we go. Here we are. An apple, yep. A lemon. Oh, in here as well. Lovely lemon. Olive oil. There we go. Olive oil. Pitta bread. Pitta bread. Lovely and flat. Pitta bread. Got it, Small. Raisins. In the cupboard as well. Raisins. Soft cheese. Here we go. Soft cheese. Got it, Small. Tomatoes. Lovely, juicy tomatoes. Got them. Lettuce. Here we go. Lovely lettuce. And apple juice. Oh, oh. don't think we've got any apple juice. Um, oh, I use another apple. Hey, hey. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. All I have to do now is get the juice out of this apple. Oh, I don't think squeezing it's going to work. Perhaps there's a tap on it somewhere. Oh, no, Small. Apples don't have taps. How do we get the juice out of this apple? Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and find out. Great idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! <laughs> Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in the right place here. Look at all those apples. They're going to be used to make apple juice. Ha-ha, <laughs> there's hundreds of them. Go, go, go! The apples are crushed in this machine. The apples aren't round anymore. The crushed apples are being wrapped in sacks and piled on top of each other. Now the tower of crushed apples is squashed so much that all the juice runs out. Hee-hee, <laughs> look at all the juice! Pure apple juice is made from apples. Wow, look at all those bottles. The bottles are being filled with the apple juice from the crushed apples. Apple juice is a delicious drink. That was really interesting. Bye. <laughs> I'm back! Great! I've got everything ready, Small. It was amazing, Ben. I went to an apple juice factory. 
and I saw these huge crushers squeeze the juice out of the apples. And I brought some back. Whoa! Wow! Now that really is everything. Come on, Small, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to tortoise salad? You do. There was an apple, half sliced, a lemon, the juice of one, olive oil, two tablespoons, pita bread, one, raisins, two, soft cheese, one tablespoon, tomatoes, two, cut in half, lettuce, a few leaves, and apple juice, half a cup. Whoopee! Let's get started! OK, first of all, we're going to put the apple juice. In it goes. The lemon juice. And the olive oil into a plastic jar. There we are. Screw the lid on. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then it's shaky, 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 shaky. I'm going to build a house. I'm going to make a house just like Timothy the tortoise. Shaky, 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 shaky. Oh, hello. Forgot where I was there for a second. Right, I finished shaking the jar, so that's the dressing made. And I've also put the pita bread in the toaster. It looks about ready now, so out it comes with my oven glove on there. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because when it pops up, it's hot, hot, hot. Ben, do you like my new house? It's starting to look like a tortoise shell. It's lovely, Small. But what are you doing now? I'm painting it so it looks like Timothy the tortoise's shell. Good idea, Small. So now I've cut the pita bread in half, and this is going to be the tortoise's body. So I'm going to spread in some of the soft cheese. There we are. In it goes. Oh, this is going to be very tasty. Little bit more. There we are. And I'm going to pop in some lettuce as well. There. Piece of lettuce. Nicely inside. And a little bit of apple. All in. So now, let's see our tortoise's body stood up on the plate. What are you doing, Small? Oh, I've finished painting the sides. I've now started on the pattern. Now, I've cut another piece off from the other slice of pita bread. And into that, put some more soft cheese. In it goes. A little more. And then the lettuce. There we are. And a nice piece of apple. Good. This is our tortoise's head. And if I pop a raisin on either side with a little bit of soft cheese, they should look just like eyes. On it goes. There. It's starting to look just like a tortoise now. That looks brilliant, Ben. I'm now going to back into my new house. Here goes. Oh, I'm starting to look like Timothy the tortoise. Head in, head out. Head in, head out. Very good, Small. Hoo-hoo! So, finally, I've cut our last piece of pitta into four equal pieces. These are going to make our tortoise's legs. So, I'm going to pop them on. One, 
two, three, four. And we can then put the pieces of tomato on to give our tortoise nice round feet. There's one. There's two. Ooh, careful. Three and four. He's looking very good. And we can use our last pieces of salad to just pop around the side of the plate. Very nice. And some apple on there. It's looking just about ready. But before it's finished, it's just time for one more. Shakey, shakey, shakey. Shakey, shakey, shake. Woohoo! Pop the salad dressing onto the salad. Just a little. Nice and careful. There we go. And a little more. Very good. Oh, it looks great. I think Timothy the tortoise is going to love this. What do you think, Small? Small? Small. Oh, where has he got to now? Hello. I'm a tortoise. What a great tortoise shell, Small. Oh, it's lovely, but I don't really look like Timothy the tortoise, do I? Oh, I think you've done a lovely job there, Small. Come on, let's get this through to Timothy the tortoise. It looks delicious. Woo! One terrific tortoise salad coming through. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Has Timothy the tortoise finished his salad, Ben? Oh, yes, he has. And look, Small, he's left us a note. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my terrific snack. I love salads. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> I told you tortoises love salads. I'll never forget how Little Cook helped me to win the race. I've never won a race before. And in return, I'd like to give you this present. Ooh, I think Little Cook might find it useful. Ooh. Ooh. Here you go, Little Cook. Aha! It's Timothy the tortoise's handkerchief. His lucky handkerchief. I wonder what Small's going to do with Timothy the tortoise's spotty handkerchief. Brilliant! Now I look just like Timothy the tortoise. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. We'll cook for everyone.